as in one body, we have many members. And the members do not all have the same function. So we know many are one body in Christ. And individual members one of another. It means there may be different people around here but there is one body and that is one in Christ so when we are talking about this symbol we settle whether you like it or not I don't see Jesus moving his head and leaving the legs behind neither do I see him saying that all the hands are so tired today. they were working so much now I let him just go and he leaves the hands behind no. I believe that each and every one of us no matter your size no matter your color no matter your background since we are one in the body of Christ and it's never going to be stuck in one place each and every one of you is getting somewhere in Jesus' name I came with religious people to take You know something very interesting? The English version of our film says, Believers activated. How many of us are believers here? Just by show of hands. You know there's a scripture in Mark chapter 9, verse 32. It says, If you believe, all things are possible. For him who believes, do you know what that one means? If you have entered into the realm of believers, you have entered the realm of experience. You have entered into a realm of miracles. You have entered into a realm of dreams coming alive. You have come into a realm of visions elevated. If you a believer, the Bible says you have no limitation. Tell your neighbor, you have no limitation. Because the Bible says, the Bible says, all things, 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 all I like the scripture in the book of Isaiah says, it says the guy comes and says here I am with my children we are for signs and wonders a guy comes and says me and my children we are even in the realm beyond the realms of miracles we are in the realms of signs and wonders this is a believer this is a believer I don't know what was going Around him. And this is what we have come to tell you. If you are a believer, you are nowhere in the realms of limitation. You are not anywhere in the realms of limitations. I will thank God for such a season. I will thank God for such meetings. Because it is not political gathering. This is not a political economy meeting. Uh, uh, this is not a religious meeting. This is for someone who has come. And no matter what is going around for you, no matter what has been said in your past, no matter what the classified doctors have said, no matter what evidence beyond the Beyond rejection can be. He comes and says that there's something if you are a believer. When we come to the realms of faith, there's no limitation. When you say I believe, I may not have money in my pocket, but I believe that I'm rich. What does the Bible say? Let the sick declare that I'm healed. Let the weak say I'm strong. Let the failure say that I'm more than a conqueror. 
And he doesn't stop there. He says your mother is a conqueror. That means that there's nothing. It means the one that can limit you. There's nothing that can stop you. There's nothing that can stop you. There's nothing that can deny you access. Tell your neighbor nothing can deny me access. Nothing can deny me access. Tell your neighbor nothing can deny me access. Nothing can deny me access. Tell your neighbor nothing can deny me access. Nothing can deny me access. If that one is already a stand to another and tell them to watch in Zakun Mesakuita. Do you know why? Because there's something inside of me. There's something inside of me. And now let me tell you something. There's a, a beautiful story in the book of, of, of Exodus. The Bible says that it says in Exodus chapter 33. Verses 1 and 2. God comes and tells these guys. <laughs> he comes and tells the children of Israel. What are you doing here? You move away from this place. And this is what the, uh, the guy is saying. Moses says. We cannot go out of this place. We cannot go out of this place. We cannot go out of this place. Without you. We cannot go out of this place. I imagine. God saying, set off, move forward. But I will send an angel to go before you. And Moses tells him, we are not going anywhere. We will not go anywhere. If we are not going with you. No, there's one thing I want you to understand tonight. As we are going to pray you have to understand that for everybody that is going to set off they have to understand who am I setting off with who are you setting off with Moses says I'm not going anywhere if you're not with me if you're not going with me I'm not going and we see it in the New Testament too the Bible says Jesus calls his disciples and tells him and he says tells them don't go anywhere unless the Holy Spirit has come upon you these were men who had already performed miracles there was a time when Jesus just sent them and they went but this time around he tells them that if you want to do exploits if you want to do things that are unique this time around don't try to go to Je out of Jerusalem except you have received something which means he put them on a standstill and he told them go somewhere some, some of you are like me you're runners when we are about to set off they put a line and they say go down and they say go down your max set 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 and then they shoot us set you off no, 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 no. and you see men running but Jesus says that you might be good you might be the best you have something he tells them go somewhere go and set yourselves after setting yourself you cannot set off unless you've, you've put on something now today before we set off from this place there is something beyond your duty that you have to have there is something beyond your academics that you got to have there is something you got to activate inside beyond your talent there is something beyond your education and education Interact. Because this is what the Bible says in the book of Acts. That the rest is not to the swift. Hello? The rest is not to the swift. Bread is not given to the strong. You got to realize. Not everyone who is so fast is the one who wins the race. Probably the fastest one fell during the ride. And you were supposed to be the second 
went over him. Can you tell you? Not all, not all the best players. I think they have to be the best in this world. You may find the best runner. Yet he's deep in the Ankara in the Malala district. He's, he's running after goats. He's running after but when you put him before a Saint Paul, he could be the fastest. I want to tell you something. That you cannot, you cannot say that I am the best. Unless there is something that has come over you. That's why the Bible says. The race is not just won by the, the fastest. It's just chapter nine, verse eleven. I turned and I saw under the sun that the rest is not to the swift. No, the battle to the strong. No bread to the white. No riches to the men of understanding. No favor to men of skill. 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 No to to happen to them all. If you have a vision, you want to be the best basketball player, the best designer, the best architecture, I want to tell you that God has given you an opportunity for time and chance. And for you to know the timing and the chance, the one timing here in the Greek, the same as an experience. You have to realize that there is an experience you need with God. There is something beyond just what you want. And tonight, God has given us an opportunity to get drunk in His presence. Get drunk in His presence. So that we can be beyond what you the, the ability of men. Men have ability. And they have limitations. And tonight as we get into worship. I want you to get deep into an experience with him. I want to get deep into an experience with him. When we talk about the sin ball. The when we talk about the to the it's an invitation into the presence of God. It's an invitation into the presence of God. To give you ability to run beyond your ability. It's an invitation into the presence of God. To give you ability to soar on wings that equals. Yes, you are a doctor. Yes, you are an actor. 
architecture. We want to work in a generation. We don't believe of things that are not normal. We want to work in a generation. We want to work in a generation. Yes, we have seen people singing. But we want to see someone who can sing. And not just sing. You the utterance of the voice. And you can sing. And inside of you comes a voice that can take away tumor in someone else. I don't know if somebody understands. And you can be in a business. And because of the power and the presence of God upon your life, the business that was going down is receiving the resurrection power. So the Basketball. Hey, we know there's a lot of basketball courts in the world. Basketball 
the one that we have. Whether you believe it or not, that's up to you. But in us, there's believers in that place that there will be kids playing in our grounds that came on, on addicted to drugs. But as they stand on that court, you don't need for prayer. They will come out of this place with no desire for drugs anymore. They will be a young boy down there. They say that they cast him. Even after they cast him, if they come to that place, they will leave it. Play in division one. Up to the upper division. And Uganda becomes so small for that person. Uganda They go to the NBA. They go to the NBA. And that person becomes the best and top basketballer in the whole universe. That is too small. When that person goes to the court, court. and he dribbles, people get slain. People get vision. And whenever he's dunking, there's something that enters somebody that realigns them to destiny. We are talking about things I have not seen. We are talking about things I have not seen. Some of you are saying that oh, those things are possible. But I believe that God who is able to give us from east to south some of you never even understood where you are looking. That was our boundary. We have known of a God who said, lift up your eyes. Lift up your eyes. Lift up your eyes. As far as you can see, I have given you. Let that God. Who find somebody for you now? And he tells him that person is sleeping. And only at the voice of him, he tells him, Lazarus, come out. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Tonight in this conference, I want you to start sharing your spirit. Some things I have not seen. Oh, where are the musicians in this place? There is something I believe. Of your voice, you are not a one hit wonder. You are not a one hit wonder. That is not your category. The world defines us according to what they are. Your lecturer, lecturer, wants you to become an engineer. I got engineer. To the level where he is. But this is the God. Who says. Above. And above. Only God. 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 You are above. Or you are good. And not beneath. At C1C. We have come to see a God. And this should be our season, ladies and gentlemen. This is our times, ladies and gentlemen. But that takes us to a place where we have an encounter with God. No one has seen. No one has experienced. Let that person come to you. Men of us are politically collected. 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 You are so mindful of the lipstick you got. You are so mindful of the clothes you got. But I pray that as we get into the institution of worship, there is someone who will say, I need some space. With my God, I want to come back. I want an experience with the God. Who can take me beyond what other people can take? Because he's available. He's here. He wants to quicken some people. Yeah, he wants to quicken some people. He wants to push you into some place. You are not meant to be stagnant. That's the way the world is rotating. If the world is not stagnant, you cannot, you cannot say that you are stuck. Look at your neighbor. Tell them that you might look like you're standing in one place. But you're not standing in one place. 
Mm. Told you that you are stuck. And your garment was silly. Many of us are like, 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 stuck. I've been here like this for like, since last year. I've been like this. Oh, garment, you know how many miles you have moved around. Do you know how many miles you have moved around? Do you know how many miles you have moved around? Because where you are, there is a movement. God has never ordained anyone to be stuck. That's why he created the root for the earth. And right now, he wants to awaken you to the reality of what he's doing in the field. He wants to awaken you to the reality of what he has called you to be. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Stand up on your feet.